So in the beginning of William Byron's NASCAR Cup Series career, well, let's just say it was kind of lackluster. But as the years gone on, William Byron has improved. And in 2023, Willie B has, has basically proven that he is a competitive top NASCAR Cup Series driver. And also, certainly for Hendrick Motorsports, too. Hey, everybody. Spider 64 here. And we are here to have a look here now at William Byron's um, Penn's Oil uh, 400 win. Um, actually, kind of weird how they don't mention Penn's Oil right there. Actually, maybe that's because maybe it's because of Valvoline right there. I don't know. I don't really know. But, yep, yeah, though, but here we go. Um, now we're going to be talking about William Byron's um, Las Vegas race win. So this is the uh, so this is the other car that I got in the NASCAR um, Authentics Winner Circle line. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and have a look at the car itself. So yeah, William Byron um, won last year's race at Las Vegas, donning this amazing looking Raptor paint scheme. This was designed by Lefty, Lefty Designs, and he outdid himself. I absolutely love this paint scheme. It looks fantastic. And I'm really am some, I'm disappointed that they didn't keep the paint scheme. I really am really disappointed. But luckily, though, the Exalta... Um, paint scheme looks pretty good this year, as I'm just kind of spinning the, the car around, but the tires. But looking at the rest of the car here, just again, really an amazing looking paint scheme for William Byron. For Willie B. And Co. Hmm, okay. Uh, but yeah, though, um, so again, you know, um, basically, actually, um, Actually, here's something kind of funny um, about about um, about the Las Vegas race wins, is that they have made all the spring ones. I pretty much own the Kyle Larson's, Alex Bowman's, and now William Byron's from last year. So from the first for the three years. So that's pretty cool. Um, so hey, Chase Elliott, are you? Well, okay. Well, he didn't win this week. Uh, this Las Vegas one, but we need the Elliott one. Where is that? What's well, actually is funny is that we are going to get a race version for Chase Elliott this year, but he didn't win a race. Oh, that's kind of funny right there, but but yeah, though, um, an almost relatively paint, uh, clean paint scheme, but of course, we'll talk about the details and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, though, this was, of course, the start of William Byron's breakout season. So let's go ahead and have a look at the sponsors here real quick. Got Chevy. Byron, of course, we got the beautiful, uh, nice looking windshield um, details right there. You got Raptor right there on the hood. And then, of course, you have Chevy Camaro front nose right there. Actually, let's take a look at this side so you can see the sponsors a bit better. You got Sunoco down there, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, 75th anniversary logo, 24 Raptor. Willie, uh, Willie B's name right there, HendrickCars.com, Valvoline, Liberty University, and you have some other sponsors right there, like see Chevy, Exalta, Cincinnati Incorporated, Mac Tools, and then on the roof, of course, you got 24, Raptor Byron. Of course, you can see Raptor right there. Here is, of course, the back where it just says RaptorTuff.com. And then on the um, underside, uh, on the chassis, says um, 2023 Camaro ZL1, you use under license. So that's uh, interesting right there. They didn't have that last year. And then we'll just have a quick look at the uh, race wind damage, which honestly, there's not really much. But of course, as you can see, we have some confetti on the windshield and some right there, some on the front, some on the splitter. You have, of course, more confetti on the side, looking pretty nice. Some on the back here. And then, of course, some on top of there. But on the side is where we got the real race wind damage. So, of course, you got some rubber buildup. Or I think he probably scraped the wall there. And also, there's the gunmetal gray rims right here, looking really nice. And then, did some damage there. And I'm pretty sure he, um, this is also some damage there, too. 
Um, not much on the back. What about the sign? No, not much. So for all intents and purposes, even though this, uh, pretty much this car is not really that race win damage heavy. Um, and pretty much the only, like, you know, race win damage is the, um, well, pretty much is the, um, confetti from Victory Lane. So, um, now this video is probably already going to be short, but I do want to go ahead and just... Uh, be um, so yeah. Um, want to go ahead and do a little comparison here. Um, right here. So we have last year's Raptor scheme compared to this year's Raptor scheme. So yeah, of course, as you can see, a lot of a, a big difference between last year and this year's. Look at that. And actually, I still really like this scheme. I I I don't know why. I just kind of like the black. I just like how simple it is with the camo, is kind of pattern and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, though. So there you go. There's the other side. But yeah, though. Um, and also, this was uh, Willie B's um, Martinsville win from the spring. I bet you they're probably going to make the one that uh, from today. And no, I did not get this car because William Byron won the race. Well, I actually do like William Byron a lot. Um, it, it, it was just because, well, um, it was, I was either going to pick this up. I, I was going to pick up the Truex car regardless, but I was kind of debating on whether or not I would get the Willie B car and stuff like that. But yeah, though. Um, so uh, let's actually uh, kind of go ahead and um, I forgot to mention the um, race winning stack card right here so here it is um interesting how again they don't mention penzo 400 winner that's kind of odd got las vegas more speedway i think maybe it's because of because they're sponsored by valvoline maybe that's because i don't know it's either because they don't like Pennzoil and there's a logo right there or i, I don't know i don't really freaking know i just don't really know of course, here here's the um, of course the stats for the race. I'll go ahead and read them out. Time of race: two hours, fifty minutes, uh, and thirty five seconds. Start position: second. Total laps: um, twenty um, two hundred and seventy one laps. This race did go into overtime, and what result is that this race was four hundred and six point five miles. So they did go over the. Um, the number of, of, of laps, number of cautions, four for 26 laps. Laps led by winner, 176. So he pretty much really beat, had a really dominant car. Margin of victory, 0 0.622 seconds. So, yeah. So, again, this was the start to Willie B's dominant run in 2023, but it did not end up in, ended, ended up in him winning the championship. We'll see if he uh, wins the championship this year. Um, of course, so far this year, he has won um, the Daytona. He's won the Daytona 500. And then, of course, he has won, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, Coda. And then, of course, just recently, Martinsville. So, will he be off to a very strong start of the season? Uh, Got to give credit where credit is due uh, for that. Uh, but, yeah, though. So that's pretty much going to wrap up um, today um, for today's video. I did film these two back to back uh, just because I wanted to get these out of the way. And yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say. Um, now, of course, um, I was able to find these at Target. So Target is getting better at distributing these things. I recommend that you try to go to your Target and you try to find these and all that sort of stuff and whatnot sort of have you. So... Thank you guys uh, so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. See y'all later.